loudmouth liberal Ashley Judd wants to live in Middle East where women have more rights, gets unexpected surprise. Loudmouth liberal celebrity, Ashley Judd, sent tweets saying America lacks behind some other countries in equal rights for women. Does she want to go live there then, because we can start a GoFundMe for her one-way ticket to Burundi, Serbia, or Iraq which apparently treat women better than America? Maybe she forgets about the Muslims who murder Christians in the Middle East. Maybe she wants some acid thrown in her face or a gay friend tossed off a five-story building. All of those can be arranged with her trip when she moves out of America. I'm sure they would love to have a C-list celebrity with no gratitude for the great American country she lives in as a millionaire. Ashley Judd's terrible tweets were met with hilariously heavy criticism from the plethora of much smarter people on the internet. You would think someone like Judd hasn't surpassed 7th grade by the amount of stupid things she says. As long as you made it halfway through 7th grade, then you're probably smarter than this twit. Start packing your bags, ladies. All 10 of them with the blow dryers and 46 colors of nail polish. Get your giant vagina costume all stuffed into a carry-on, or better yet, wear it on your flight to Iraq. Let's see how fast you're on a flight back to America. No chance you ladies survive a day in another country. You'll be back to the USA faster than the next Women's March can hire another terrorist or murderer. You'll be back to America faster than Madonna can hand out sexual favors for Clinton votes what's she owe, like 50 million favors? Any woman who leaves America because of a numeric ranking is absurd, but I will fully support you leaving the country and making room for more intelligent women to take over. Seriously. Please, get out. Make room for people with logically working brains filled to the brim with common sense and lacking stupidity. Did you think that was Judd's only tweet? Here's her reply. You tell us. You know everything. Read the darn constitution for once and stop reminding everyone that you've gone full stupid. You know Twitter users drilled her for this. Here are some of the great replies from Twitter. Usually when the constitution is read, then people actually know it. It covers all people. It's not sexually discriminating. God forbid someone who speaks in front of thousands of people actually knows what she's talking about. You can read about the Constitution on Wikipedia and become a genius in about 15 minutes. Lest we forget the horrible speech she gave to the beta males and men hating feminists at the Women's March which was quite possibly the most embarrassing thing a large group of women has ever done. I'd like to see a men's march and our version of the costumes. I wonder how long that would last before we were arrested thanks to some whiny feminists. Typical double standard, which is what the Democrats are really good at. That and being victims of literally everything they can think of. Their biggest enemy is themselves. Selves.